clean so I can't do it so I you know Jay Johnson and I discussed it and I told him he gonna need to do this shit cuz I don't really give a damn what somebody think about what I say even though I'm saying the truth I don't give a fuck. I can't trust you to do nothing excuse me I'm sorry you said okay. you wasn't gonna do that right, no, why are you doing it I mean all right okay so anyway uh, some of you have a tendency uh, because of your job because of your position because of your Status. I don't know what your position is. You don't want to hear the truth the way I say it. So, Jay Johnson and I, have, against my better judgment, have agreed to let him do it. So, without further ado, for your pleasure, he is Jay Johnson. How you guys doing? Uh, as you well know, I'm Jay Johnson, and um, we have had some people who don't necessarily like him, so we've decided to do it kind of both ways. He'll he'll say some things on uh, for grown folks only, and uh, I'll talk to the general public. We do agree on uh, the fact that it doesn't matter to me as long as I get the truth, but some of us have a tendency to. Um, play whatever we play with each other or the society or the world and that's the way we deal with it so without further ado let me go to Proverbs see I like Proverbs because uh, many people think that money is the thing that we grub after that's the thing that we should go after that's the thing that we desire you see but the, the funny thing about money is once you get it you give it away for what you really want so, uh, God, according to your Bible, and I'm dealing with this Bible because, uh, you know, all the Bibles are the same to me. I just know that in America, most of them deal with uh, this Bible, dealing with Jesus. I, I respect Allah. I respect, you know, uh, the prophet Muhammad. I respect uh, Jesus. I respect, you know, uh, many of the prophets around the world. I respect uh, Confucius. I respect all of those who speak in truth. I have no problem with it because basically it comes out to be the same uh, as you begin to look at and read it. So I'm going to start out with the book of Proverbs because again, when he asked, when God asked Solomon in this book, what does Solomon want? Solomon said, I want wisdom and knowledge. And in that, God gave him everything else he wanted. See, because in my mind, uh, you know, creativity is the foundation of reality. Imagination is the foundation of reality. Uh, this is the, this is this is a fact because everything you see came from imagination outside of the fruits and vegetables minerals vitamins and oxygen landscape and all the things that we know God created the rivers mountains valleys and such and thus uh, so we'll start at uh, Proverbs chapter 8 it says I'm, I'm gonna read quickly because I want to get to a couple of per portions of this that deals directly with the fact of the matter uh, so let's go to Proverbs chapter 8 verse 1 do I'm going to say it my way, and you can read it how you like to read it, but I don't feel like going to these hither, thither, thithers, and thou, because that's not the way I speak. And I'm not going to give it to you that way, because I don't receive it that way. Okay? Don't wisdom cry. Do not wisdom cry. And understanding put forth her voice. She, that's wisdom, stand in the top of the high places, by the way in the places of the pathway. She, Cry at the gates, wisdom she does. At the entry of the city, she cries, she does. Uh, at the coming in of the doors, wisdom cries unto you. O men, I call. My voice is to the Son of Man. That means all of us. So, when, in other words, what it's saying, wisdom cry everywhere you go. No matter who you talk to, wisdom is relevant uh, and is powerful in its essence. Of what it is so he say oh ye simple uh, he say oh ye simple understand wisdom and ye fools be of an understanding heart yo you need to go deal with that I don't want to get into this a long story verse 6 says here for I will speak of excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right things meaning true 
things. How many of us laugh for no reason at all? He says, out of opening of my lips shall be right things. Now let's deal with verse 7 for a second. He said, my mouth shall speak truth as I just mentioned to you. He says, wickedness is an abomination to my lips. So any lying, any deceiving, any BS, any game plan, anything that you know is not right that you do, this is what the scripture is saying, that wisdom is saying, that it's an abomination to the lips of wisdom. Okay, it says in verse 8, all the words of my mouth are in righteousness, meaning right, truth. There is nothing forward or perverse in them, which means there is nothing wrong, ain't no loopholes. You can't go to the Congress. The government can't find out what really happened. You, no matter how far they dig, they can blame the preacher. They can blame whoever they want to blame who you're around, but they will never find anything against the truth because the truth always comes back to truth. All right, okay? Let's deal with this. Uh, verse 9 says, They are plain to him that understand. In other words, the wisdom I speak is plain to any man of, of common sense, which uh, quite frankly is not common. Uh, he say, and write to them that find knowledge. In other words, whoever want to seek knowledge, look forward to growing, want to develop in your life, then if you take this knowledge and use it, it's going to be right for you. You understand what I'm saying? Now, verse 10 says, this is the key, and this is the, the biggest thing I want to get to, because many of us search after so many other things. We spend our lifetime Searching after gold, diamonds, cars, houses, position, power, all these things, money. Hey, listen, when you die, you can't take none of it with you. But what you can leave is a legacy, a foundation of truth. Because if you live your life in a, in, a, in a ministry of lies, then that is what you will leave for your children, your children's children, and everybody else on the planet to see. Because you are in your physical realm will be gone. So we are talking about... Knowing that we're going to die, the fact is not that we know we're going to die, but the fact is that we do know we are going to live. And while we live, what we should do, that is eternal, is truth. Live truth, speak truth, and be a truthful individual. Alright, let's deal with uh, verse 10 of Proverbs 8. It says, receive my instruction, that's with wisdom, and not silver. It says, receive my words as opposed to the cash you would get. Let me say that again. Receive my words as opposed to the job you would have got, the uh, uh, advancement you would have got, the position that you would have got, the girl that you would have got. You understand what I'm saying? This is what your Bible say. I'm just quoting it. I ain't wrote it. All right, so let's, let's continue uh, with that. He says, receive my instructions and not silver, and receive knowledge rather than choice gold. Many of you young people have no understanding that a man that is older than you, that's got years on you, that I don't care what he look like today, he got something you might not ever get, and that's years, that's time, and that is knowledge, because he been here and you wasn't. So in other words, if you just give the man respect, for having years over you, something that you might not get, and you hope to God you get them, then you'll receive knowledge from this man, even though whatever position he's in, you don't know what he's been through, you don't know where he's been, you don't know what power or position he's held. So do not be quick to judge that which you have no knowledge of. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to read that verse, and I'm not going to elaborate. <laughs> it says, receive my instructions and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice go. You heard me rap on that. He said, for wisdom is better than rubies. Wow. Uh, I'm going to continue. He said, wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to. Let me break that down for you. Rubies are very symbolic of a very precious stone. So there is no precious stone that is more valuable than wisdom. You understand? There is nothing that you could ever gain from the earth that you can rape the earth or the oil or the minerals, the vitamin that is 
more valuable than wisdom. This is what God says while you have it written on your money and God we trust. So you can't lie to everybody. Alright? He says, uh, for wisdom is better than rubies and everything that you could ever desire, anything that you would ever want in life that you could ever think about is not to be compared to wisdom. Please understand, if you believe yourself to be a Christian, you go to church every Sunday, even though you go lying and you put, you, you put on this show, that's your business. But God knows, because you said he was all knowing, he was all seeing, first, last, beginning, end, alpha, and omega, then he already know that you're full of it. Okay, so look, we're dealing with his words, not mine. I'm, like I said, I didn't wrote it, I just quoted. Uh, he says, right, this, this is what amazes me because we're always searching for things. We always want things and we pass over the very essence of what is there just before us, the power of wisdom and knowledge. Now, he says in verse, uh, verse 12, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence. And find out knowledge of witty inventions. Now what do you think you're watching this on the camera? What do you think uh, is lighting the place? Lights. Uh, uh, we have TVs. We have uh, cell phones. We have computers. Everything that we spend our money on are witty inventions. Someone invented it. We're not talking about the stars. We're not talking about the mountains or the rivers. We're talking about the things that we use every day for convenience. Now, if you were smart, you'd get into the wisdom and knowledge, you'd be able to create some witty inventions, and you'd have other folk paying you. You don't have to be a pimp daddy pastor. Uh, you can be a lay person and just be uh, uh, engulfed and, and, and delved, overwhelmed with this wisdom and knowledge, and be able to do anything you want to do. That's what God said. Now, if you don't believe it, then walk away from it. If you believe it, then please understand, this is not a joke. It's not to pretend because if your God know that he's almighty, all know, he know you got to be lying. He got to be deceiving. Uh, deceiving. Your lifestyle cannot reflect the things that his word says. If your, your lifestyle is different from his word and then you say, I believe his word, you're a liar. You are a hypocrite. Confess the fact that you're a hypocrite. You ain't got to tell nobody else. But look in the mirror and say, man, I've been lying to God. Because every time I lie to anybody, I'm lying to God. I ain't never seen God. I ain't never met him. But you see your brother every day and you hate your brother. But you say you love God. You ain't never seen him. So these are the kinds of scriptures that make me think, wow. Why do we have so many lying people on this planet? We have 20 empty houses to every homeless person in this country. You understand? We spend 70% of our money on Weapons and God said that I should not kill. I mean, look at this. We have Allah and Jesus are fighting. They're using this. they just using the name because they don't condone these things, not God. He said the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, arrogancy, and the evil way. He says the forward mouth do I hate. He says counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my reverence than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the path of judgment. I'm Jay Johnson. I can't take no more. Peace. <laughs>